What's going on everybody? Welcome back to a brand new video. So recently I've been getting a ton of questions about this bad boy right here and how it works on GT7. If you can actually be competitive with this controller or if you have to fork out hundreds and hundreds of dollars to afford a wheel, either it's Fanatec, Logitech, Thrustmaster, etc. So I decided to put both of them to the test and actually do some time trials as well as a small race with both the wheel and the controller. And to be quite honest, the results actually really shocked me. So we're gonna do a comparison between the two, do a couple laps around Brands Hatch and Tokyo Expressway for time trial, and then do a race around Daytona. And before we jump into the video, if you guys really enjoy the content, feel free to smash that like button for the YouTube algorithm. And if you guys wanna catch more content, Hit that red subscribe button down below. Try to get us up to 10,000 subscribers before the end of the year and come join our family. Anyways, let's jump right into the video. Alrighty boys, so we are here in our Supra around Brands Hatch as we decided to start off with the controller for our test and we get a 132.3, so not a very competitive lap time. Not something that you would want to show to your mom or something like that as this was a again a very very sketchy lap that i had put together just because it's my first time doing anything with racing on the controller so i was very very twitchy on some of the corners not only that i didn't have any confidence with the brakes or with the throttle but to my surprise on the second lap it was all starting to come together and i actually felt a lot more confident and you can see it right here with the times we get a 126.8 I attempted to go do a third lap, but the third lap was actually a lot slower than the second lap. So uh, we stopped with that test on the controller and hopped onto our wheel and see if we could beat our controller time. So here on our first lap on the wheel, to my surprise, heading into Druids, we're behind the Ghost. And we are about half a second behind coming out of Druids. And that really shocked me. I was not expecting to be this slow compared to the Ghost of the, the controller. And as we cross the start finish line to finish our first lap, we get a 130.3, which is really, really bad, in my opinion. But as we come into our second lap, we accidentally spin out and we hit the retry button. So we get into our second lap here, our official second lap on the wheel, and we were able to pull off a 127.3. Still not as quick as the controller, but we were starting to get somewhere here. So we get onto our third lap. And this lap actually was a lot better on the wheels, so we were actually hitting our marks, making sure that we break where we needed to. And coming down to the final couple of corners, we were actually able to catch up to the Ghost, and we were about to overtake the Ghost uh, until we came into the final corner. So breaking where we needed to break on the final corner, we get onto the throttle as early as we can on, on the wheel. But unfortunately, the controller was just able to get on the power a lot earlier than we were. And he was able to beat us, or the controller was able to beat us on the wheel. And that was very, very shocking to say the least. So I decided to hop on onto Tokyo Expressway and pick a track that you have to be pinpoint accurate. Because if you're off even by just a little bit, you're basically smashing into the wall. So... We started off again with the controller, and this time we had a bit more experience since we had three laps of Brands Hatch under our belt. So we had just that extra bit of experience with the control. And so I felt a little bit more comfortable when we were going through some of these corners and just a bit more confident right off the bat. But to my surprise, it actually didn't feel that bad, especially coming to the third sector. I was able to hit my apexes and actually point the car to where I wanted to on the controller. So it was really, really interesting. The fact that I was able to just hop on here and it was, it honestly felt like if I had been doing it for years. So the first lap that we put in here at Tokyo Expressways was a 159.8. And I felt like I could put it in a, a lot quicker of a lap time. I felt a lot, com a lot more confident on the second one. And I just started pushing it a lot more than what I was on the first lap and unfortunately coming off the final corner we made contact with the wall and that costed us about a second second and a half so we hit a 159.1 but in actuality we should have been a 157 a high 157 but of course due to the mistake that we had on the final corner uh, we were only able to get a 59.1 so my target time with the wheel was at least to hit a low 158 
or a high 157 and we would be able to match the controller uh, if it had not made contact with the wall on the exit so this is our first attempt here with the wheel and again the same thing that was happening at Brands Hatch was happening here as we just could not get a good drive off the first corner and the controller was actually able to get a really good gap here coming into the dock section for the first time now I thought I was going to be able to catch up to the ghost on the dock section because the dock section you have to follow a certain racing line and not only that you can see on the ghost that we got a really bad case of wheel spin and on the wheel we actually didn't get any wheel spin so I was able to just maintain the the momentum and just get on the throttle early but as we come into the end of the lap on our first attempt here with the wheel we were nowhere near the ghost of the controller we were actually about three seconds slower and we get a 201.1 actually worse than our first lap with the controller and I was just dumbfounded I didn't know what I was doing wrong maybe I was just really that bad at the wheel maybe it's just really terrible at driving I'm not sure but we had to turn this around quickly and so on our second lap here we were able to find some pace finally and we actually started keeping up with the controller but all that came down to shame as we come into the final corner here we are about a second second and a half away from the controller ghost and the only saving grace that we had to kind of match up the time was the fact that we made the mistake on the controller and we were able to hit a 159.1 so basically mirroring the controller time with the mistake and that was heartbreaking the fact that we could not catch up to the controller I tried a third attempt with the wheel but unfortunately made a mistake with the wheel and that was our best lap right there, 159.1. So the controller had beat us twice on time trial. I decided to do a test on a race and see if we can finally beat the controller with tire wear and with an opponent. So the three track marks I was looking at was if we can beat it on, again, tire wear, the opponent, and on race time. So. We actually did a little flip-flop here. We started off with the wheel this time and seeing if uh, maybe it's just me personally that when I do something on the second attempt with the other thing, like with the, you know, when I start with the controller, the wheel, I was just really bad at. So I just said, all right, let me start with the wheel and then let me finish off with the controller and let's see what the experience is. Let's see what the results come out to be. Now, as we come down to the wire here, on the wheel we finished this race with a 343 time and this was the result with the tire wear so finishing off in second we didn't beat our AI with the wheel we now jump into the controller and see if we can perform a lot better now that we have about 20 25 minutes under our belt of experience with the controller so clearly we're, we're an expert with this now so I should be able to maintain the tires keep a good pace and beat the AI so it's coming to turn number four here coming out of the corner I accidentally get on the power a bit too aggressively and we lose the back end allowing the Audi to overtake us and so we continue on marching forward through the race just following the Audi trying to ke uh, keep up with them coming to the international horseshoe we actually were able to gain a tremendous amount of time on him and unfortunately again we just get a little bit of wheel spin on the exit but we were catching up to the Audi and it was now basically a run down to the line. We get into the slipstream, go on to the inside. It's going to be a drag race to the line. And we actually end up beating the Audi on the controller and actually getting a quicker lap time or race time of 3.39. And as we flip flop between these two, you can actually see the difference between uh, the finish. And this was the result with the tire wear. As you can see the wheel, we were able to save a lot more tire than the controller. But with the control, we were quicker. So it was a weird, weird result here. Maybe if we would have made this race three or four laps, the controller would have faded um, as the race continued on just due to the fact that the tire wear was just getting worse and worse every single lap. So, I mean, to my conclusion, if you are running the controller and you're doing sprint races or time trial, you can keep up with the wheel. You can actually be quicker than the wheel. I just showed you guys right here that I was actually a lot quicker with the controller in three laps than I was with the wheel in three laps. 
but when it comes down to an endurance race that's where it can be a little bit challenging with the controller as with the wheel you can be a lot more consistent and not only that you can uh, you can save more tire just due to the fact that you're being a lot more smooth there with your turning but if you put enough practice with the controller you can probably match the wheel to be quite honest and you can be a lot more smoother with the turning and just be a lot more smoother on the acceleration as well to the point that you can actually be quick and save the tires almost exactly the same very very shocking the results let me know what you guys think in the comments down below if you guys really enjoyed this video feel free to smash that like button for the youtube algorithm and hit that subscribe button down below if you want to catch more videos and i really hope you guys enjoyed this video if you guys did i hope to catch you guys on the next one peace